vijana wenyewe kukuja kwenye hospitali huwa wanaogopa there are so many youths that are coming to start antenatal clinic because they are pregnant they are very young and you find that they need guidance we need to tell them the truth about what sex is at an early stage when you talk to young people when you walk with young people actually big things get to happen mimi ni mmoja wale wenyewe nilifaidika na hiyo mradi ya dayo One out of every five girls aged between 15 and 24 are already pregnant or expecting their first child here in Mombasa County. This particular child will not be able to proceed with higher education in order to lead a fulfilled life. Just to engage themselves meaningfully in economic activities is hampered because of low quality education. We were lucky enough to get funding from Hivo Southern Africa to implement a project named Sexual Productive Health and Rights Youth Advocacy project in Mombasa whose main objective was to reduce the rates of teenage pregnancies in Mombasa. The project was implemented at an area called Ziwalangombe. It is an informal settlement. The support that we got from Mombasa Department of Health was very good. They are the ones who even recommended to us the Ziwalangombe facility and from our engagements they even now decided that they are going to establish a youth friendly desk at the facility just so as to improve access to sexual production health and rights information and services by adolescents in the area. We thought as an organization to actually conceptualize this project so that we get to have more adolescents and young girls accessing services at health facilities as well as information around sexual productive health and rights. The project had two approaches. The first approach focused on the school component, the school health policy. It is actually recommending for comprehensive sexuality education. We targeted adolescents with SRHR information. During the implementation of the project, we engaged health facility staff at Zualangombe Health Facility. This project was needed. There are so many youths who are involved in sexual activities, leading them to be pregnant and drop out of school. We also engaged peer educators who we trained, teachers from the schools that we worked with together with community health volunteers. The teacher was a patron of the cohort of students or learners that we were engaging with. She was there to make sure that we do not get to discuss something that is not permitted by the ministry and also by the law. My role in this project was mainly to get the parents' concept, which was very easy for me since I'm a teacher and at the same time a guidance and counseling teacher in the school. When it comes to the peer educators, their main purpose was actually to engage the learners in and out of school with uh, sexual productive health and rights information, of course employing some aspects of drama and dance in their messaging. The other component of the project had a community aspect. We were also focusing on sensitizing the communities on the importance of supporting adolescents and young people when it comes to accessing information and services on their sexual reproductive health and rights. I teach CHVs about family planning, the ways, the messages they can give in the community, in that when they have problems, then they contact me, I direct them on what to do and where to give the required direction to the youth in the community. Kazi zangu ilikuwa ni kwenda kuchukua youths kutoka kwa community, nikiwaleta kwenye facility, ili waje wapate services za kama family planning, counseling, alafu na HIV testing kabla tuanze zile session tulipata kuwa wazazi wengi hawakuwa na imani na watoto wao kulingana na ile kitu nyangu pengine tulikuwa tunaenda kufanya na wao so pia ni lazima pia kuenda kuongea na baadhi ya wazazi kuelimisha kwa ni nini ambacho tunaenda kufanya na pia itakuwa na manufaa gani kwa mtoto wake the basic thing that we need to take care of is sensitization we need to tell them the truth about what sex is about what relationship is at an early stage when it comes to the facility in charge, her main role was to oversee the work that the community health volunteers were doing at the health facility because at the end of the day, they also needed a supervisor just to make sure that they are at the desk. The referrals are being made according to how they were trained during the capacity strengthening session that we took them through and also to make sure that they do not miss out on the target population that the project has in mind. Knowing that we are a facility that is providing even antenatal care. We have seen there are so many youths that are coming to start antenatal clinic because they are pregnant, they are very young and you find that they need guidance. 
we are able to see an increase in access to health services and in particular contraceptives by young girls aged between 19 and 24. We saw in that one year alone almost 1,200 girls aged between 15 and 24 were able to, to access information as well as services. I am the one who has been able to do this work and I have been able to do this work. I have been able to do this work and I have been able to do this work. Maybe it will be a shame. I have been able to do this work. I have been able to do this work. I have been able to do this work. I have been able to do this work for five years. Nikatumia bata hiko ina nipeleka poa, nikabadilishwa nikaikuwa hiyo ya 3 years. Asa hiyo ya 3 years niko tu nayo sawa. Mimi ningependelea outreaches zikuwe mingi juu vijana wenyewe kukuja kwenye hospitali huwa wanaogopa. Yaani zile outreaches zikikuwa at least watajua kuwa pale hospitali kuna services zenye zapeanwa na pia kuna madaktari enye wako friendly. Enye ukikuja utawapata utawakaribisha vizuri. Kuna hiyo youth desk yenye kwapo nje enye ukikuja wakutana na youth mwenzako, ukishakutana naye anakuongelesha vizuri na kuchukua, anakupeleka paka kwa daktari. Seen also as improving as an organization based on the capacity building sessions that we received from HIVOS. We've been able to improve our skills when it comes to resource mobilization. We've managed to get a second round of funding from HIVOS to upscale these same projects based on the outcomes that we achieved. 1,200 this time round, but we want to increase the number to at least 2,000 by the end of this year. Through this same same project, we've been able also to establish a network of like-minded organizations within the East and Southern African region for the sole purpose of advocating for the sexual productive health and rights of adolescents and young people. From my own experience, I would like to urge all development partners to actually put young people at the center of all their programming in terms of of designing, implementation, as well as monitoring and evaluation of all development programs. Because when you talk to young people, when you work with young people, actually big things get to happen. And this is evident from the project that we've just implemented. Right from the start, we put at the center of the design of the project young people, and it was actually spearheaded by young people themselves. Young people can deliver.